Shalom, Israel, Most High, Christ bless. I'm Captain Naon. Shalom, Israel, Most High, Christ bless. Officer Elijah. And this is 15 minutes with the captains. All right. So today we're going to go into uh, the topic, a time for war and a time for peace. All right. Today, I'm, I'm going to let you know today what time we're living in. All right. We ain't at peace right now. We're at war. Spiritually, we're at war right now. All right. This is spiritual <clears throat> warfare going on. All right. And it's for you, Israel, to program and change your mindset to know what we warn against is on a spiritual level. Okay. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. All right. The Bible breaks down everything. All right. The understanding that we need to have in the last days we're living in, the Bible helps us through those. Go ahead. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. To everything there is a season mm -hmm. and a time to every purpose under the heaven. So Solomon giving us the wisdom. He said it's, there is a season. It says to everything there is a season. So I mean a particular place and time that certain things will happen. It says and a time to every purpose under the heaven. So in those different seasons what things will transpire, what things will be going on, what you will be doing in that particular time and place and space, okay? So from there, jump jump to verse 8. Verse 8, uh -huh. a time to love uh -huh. and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. Let's see where I get it from. It said a time of war, it said a time of love and a time of hate, a time of war and a time of peace. Right now, we at war. Spiritually, we're at war. Because this whole world is doing what? Tearing down our minds. Keeping us filled with what? Doctrines of Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day. These things we're spiritually at war with because they have the minds of our people. All right? They're lost and confused and destroyed with these different doctrines of lies that we're being told in this earth. That the man that's in our, our uh, land today, Esau, that's the true, the Jews or the Jewish people. That's us. That's, no. We're, and going back to the lies that we're being told of what? Celebrating birthdays. Uh, uh, that we have a, 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 a Santa. Uh, that Satan is somebody just floating around or something. It, it's, these are lies that we've been told told that we're nothing but you're the most precious thing on this earth all right from there let's go to second corinthians 10 and 3 second corinthians 10 and 3 because understanding israel this war we're fighting <clears throat> it's gonna be an end to it but what side are you gonna be on you're gonna be on the side that overcomes and that prevails or are you gonna be on the side that get burnt up go ahead this is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 3. Uh -huh. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. That's, we're going back to that same war. It's a war going on. The Bible telling us that we're not warring against the flesh. This flesh that we're in. We're not physically fighting nobody. We're not physically. We don't have a military. right? So we're not physically going to war with anybody. Okay? This is all spiritual. Go ahead. Verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, mm -hmm. but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. This is the war that we're at, that we're in, rather. It says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. So carnal weapons, carnal things, these tanks and AK-47s and missiles and things of that nature, we don't have it, but that, that can't do anything for us. This is not a carnal fight, okay? It says... But mighty, so this is the fight that we're fighting. This is our weapon right here. It said, but mighty through God, through the most high, to the pulling down of strongholds. How? Through destroying the doctrines of devils. Through pulling down the stronghold and philosophies of our oppressor. All right? All the things I mentioned uh, earlier, all the pagan days that you keep and are happy to keep, God has this day that we're supposed to be keeping. That's how we're pulling down the stronghold. We're returning back to our nationality. We're returning back to what? 
Leviticus 23, Pentecost, um, Day of Atonement, uh, Tabernacle, so on and so forth. All right? Keep reading. Casting down imaginations mm -hmm. and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. It said, and casting down the imagination. So all the imaginations that your oppressor has came up with and that he's conjured up in his mind, we're destroying these things. All right? It says, with the Bible, not our own words, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. That's our oppressor. That's Esau. He exalt himself above God. He thinks that all the devices and inventions that he came up with, the missiles, the tanks, all these things is going to fight against Christ. That's what he thinks in his head. But none of those things will work. Why? Because this is not a carnal fight. Okay. It says, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. We're showing the world the true image of Christ. We're showing the world who the true people of the book is, are. All right? That's how we're bringing into captivity our people's mind. To make them understand that this Bible is not a fairy tale book. This is a book of truth, of history, of a life, of a people that are here today. Okay? So from there, let's go to Ezekiel. I'm sorry. E uh, Ezekiel. No, Zechariah 4 and 6. I'm sorry. Zechariah 4 and 6. Let's go again and show you what Zechariah say about this war. This war we're fighting against. Go ahead. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 4 and verse 6. Uh -huh. Then answered and spake, then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Do you see what's going on right here? It said, he's telling Zerubbabel, this is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel. This is the instructions he's giving him and letting him know. Saying, not by might, not by power, nor by, I'm sorry, but by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. My spirit is what's going to fight for you. My spirit is what's going to uh, change you, to move in you, to what? Change your thinking. To wake the spirit up that's in you. All right? Your spirit bear witness with the Bible to understand that the Most High is in you and you in Him. All right? He chose you from the beginning. Again, this war is not physical, but spiritual. All right? Go to Ezekiel 7, or 37 and 10. Ezekiel 37 and 10. Right now, it's something that's going on. With the spirit coming back into us, we're doing something. We, we're, we're putting together an army, but that spiritual army that the Most High is looking for. Go ahead. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 37 and verse 10. Uh -huh. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, mm -hmm. and they lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. It said, so I prophesied as he commanded me. That's what we do. That's what we're doing right now to you, prophesying to you. Christ, this book is a book of prophecy. All right? It says, so I prophesied as he commanded me. What the Most High commanded us to do as prophets to you. And the breath came into them, and they live. The commandments are coming into you. Meaning that's how you're living. That's how you're alive, by keeping the word of God. Okay? It says, and stood upon their feet. That's what we're doing right now. We're standing on our feet. That exceedingly great army. The Most High is raising up men, the elect, to do what? To guide and instruct our people. That's the spiritual army that you're seeing being awakened today. All right? So from there, let's go to Proverbs 1 and 20. Proverbs 1 and 20. It's nothing to be scared of. You know, the Most High is doing his thing. He's waking his children up to be able to come back and take over the earth. With who? With our forefather, I mean our forefather, with our, our uh, king, Christ. 
All right. Let's go. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 20. Uh -huh. Wisdom crieth without. Mm -hmm. She uttereth her voice in the streets. That's what we're doing. That's why this is a spiritual war. That's the war that we're fighting. That's the battlefield where we go to where? On the streets. To cast down imagination and every high thing, all the lies that the other nations have put in our minds. We're casting that down that's in our people. Showing them the right way, thus said the Lord. All right? In the streets. All right? Go ahead. Verse 21. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, mm -hmm. in the openings of the gates. Mm -hmm. In the city she uttereth her words, saying, We utter the words of the Bible. Okay? We are bringing scriptures out to give you the understanding, as Nehemiah 8 and 8 say. So you can come back to the commandments. We crying aloud, as Isaiah 50, 58 and 1 says. We're not sparing nobody feelings because at war, when they're on a the battlefield, are they caring who they, who they shoot? No. We had a spiritual war. We're in a spiritual war. And we are out here to correct our people, to guide them and set them right. Thus said the Lord. Keep reading. In the city she uttereth her words, saying, how long, ye simple ones? How long will our people continue and stay asleep? Walking zombies. Go ahead. Will ye love simplicity? Mm -hmm. And the scorners delight in their scorning. Mm -hmm. And fools hate knowledge. Our people love to hate the scorners. They hate the Bible. They hate God. Through the words they speak. Through their actions. All right? It says, and fools hate knowledge. The end result, our people hate knowledge. They don't want to know that they're the most greatest people upon the face of the earth. Why? Because they've been indoctrinated. Why? Because Satan has a hold of them. Why? Because this America has destroyed our minds. Through the course of history, through the course of time rather, and slavery and all those things. All right? That's why it's a spiritual fight that we're fighting. All right? From that, uh, what I want? Uh, Romans 8 and 16. Yeah, Romans 8 and 16. We're going to see today, because it's the spirit in all of us, all right? We're going to see if your spirit, because remember, this is a spiritual fight that we fight. <coughs> Do your spirit bear witness with this Bible? Go ahead. This is the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 16. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit mm -hmm. that we are the children of God. Your spirit that's within you will connect with this Bible. Why? Because Christ said, my sheep hear my voice. Everything that we're reading to you, you're going to start to resonate with. Why? Because it's in you. The spirit that the most I put in you is resonating with the Bible. It's in you to come back to the, the law of statutes and commandments that he gave you from the beginning. All right? That's the world we're fighting. Satan trying to keep you in sin. Satan trying to keep your mind in everything outside of the Bible, okay? In TV, in movies, in, in, in music, in, in the internet, in, in video games, in, in all these different avenues, okay? Go to uh, Revelations 9 and 3. Revelations chapter 9 verse 3. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 7 and verse 3. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. So what we're doing is trying to seal. When you go further in this chapter, the 144,000 and a multitude in verse 9 of Israel. That's what we're trying to seal. Seal what in you? Seal the commandments. Go to Isaiah. Isaiah 8 and 16. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 8 and verse 16. This is what we're fighting against. The other nations, the oppressor, are trying to keep you from receiving this. All right? Go ahead. Bind up the testimony. Uh -huh. Seal the law among my disciples. We are to seal the law among the disciples of the Most High, among his chosen, among his children. All right? That's what we're trying to seal. The law in your minds, all right? 
from that, let's go to Isaiah 26 and 1. Isaiah 26 and verse 1. Esau is not going to go down without a fight. But we have the Most High on our side. The Most High is fighting for us when you're keeping his commandments. Read that. The book of Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. In that day shall this song be sung mm -hmm. in the land of Judah. Mm -hmm. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. Mm -hmm. Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Mm -hmm. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. That's the peace that we're looking for. We want this to be us. Those that's keeping the commandments, this is the peace that we're looking for. We're, this is not our rest. Understand that. We at war, Israel. All right? What side are you going to choose? To keep the commandments or fight against God? You're going to lose. All right? Let's go to Isaiah 2 and 1. This is the peace that we're looking for. I told you. We're at war. But we're looking for this, this side of the peace that the Most High is going to bring for us. <clears throat> yeah. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Uh -huh. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. This is what? Another prophecy. This Bible is a book of prophecy. This prophecy has to come to pass here. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains mm -hmm. and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. That just told you that when Christ come back, no other nation go stand. The nation of Israel, the mountain, that's what it's talking about. That kingdom of Israel shall stand. No other nation. He's going to overtake the nations. Go ahead. And many people shall go and say, mm -hmm. Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, mm -hmm. to the house of the God of Jacob, mm -hmm. and he will teach us his ways, mm -hmm. and we will walk in his paths. Mm -hmm. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. This whole world will have to keep the laws of God. That's a beautiful thing. That's peace on earth. You understand? Not right now. Not wars and rumors of wars. Not our people getting shot, gunned down in the street for no reason. Okay? Not getting the falsely accused of things that did, they did not do. <clears throat> These are things you have to ask yourself. We're at war right now. Go ahead. Verse 4. Mm -hmm. And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. Mm -hmm. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares. Mm -hmm. And their spears into pruning hooks. So these nations will be judged. A lot of people got to die. That's what? A casualty of war. People die. Go ahead. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. Mm -hmm. Neither shall they learn war anymore. That's peace on earth. No more wars. Because only one nation will be ruling this earth. Okay? And that's the nation of Israel. Okay? No other nation going to be fighting against us because they will be destroyed. Let's go to uh, Isaiah 60 and 10. Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 10. Again, this is the peace on earth that we're waiting for or that we're fighting for to come. Go ahead. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 10. Uh -huh. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls. And their king shall minister unto thee. Mm -hmm. For in my wrath I smote thee, mm -hmm. but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. The Most High said these other nations are going to work for us. They're going to be our slaves. Point blank to the point. But what we're doing right now is working towards this. We're fighting for this. All right. Remember the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. This flesh is what we're fighting against. That's right. This world is what we're fighting against. Okay? Keep going. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. Uh -huh. They shall not be shut day nor night, mm. that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, mm -hmm. and that their kings may be brought. So they come in, in chains. They come in to bring everything that they stole back to us. Okay? Ain't, ain't no reparations can pay back what they took from mm. us. Okay, keep going. 
for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Mm -hmm. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. So, hey, I hope that you get an understanding of this. And I hope that you understand that right now we're spiritually at war, but that day of peace is coming. Okay? So with that, Israel, I pray y'all got something from the, the, the lesson. Continue to watch our videos, 15 Minutes with the Captains. Stay tuned till next time. Shalom, most high Christ bless you. Shalom, Israel, most high Christ bless. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.